our review, Savannah College Art and Design, the spring semester 2018. Artworks were created by myself, artist Stephen Taylor. My artist statement reads as follows. When I look back at my life, I realize that an abusive father, malicious children, and bullying teachers have taken my youth from me. They shaped me into an angry and frustrated individual, one who does not trust people. However, my determination not to let others experience this is what has propelled me to be the strong father, teacher, and mentor that I actually am. To combat these negative tendencies and a lifestyle that comes natural to me, I create. Drawing and painting places me in a world of my own and further reminds me that there is beauty in the world. My work is fantastic. It's whimsical, fun, while it's sometimes chaotic, harsh, perhaps even violent. I focus on the subject matters of creation and the emotions that drive it. I've always been fascinated with the creation and the development of children and animals. Perhaps because of the loss I experienced as a child and the joy I always found in playing with or observing animals, and I always thought that the emotions of a child are as wild or as untamed as an animal. So the two always seem to kind of work together. Simple stagnant form of beast or child or the crazy whimsical nature of either are the same. Now as for the application of the work, I've always enjoyed working with my hands, and as such I explore my subject through the works of paint or charcoal, using my hands to smudge, scrape, or fade, to fuse the images while using tools like brushes, pens, pencils, for the most part erasers with the, with the charcoal, to refine the lines. It's the process of using my hands and my mark making that is distinct to the work. It also separates the black and white imagery from photography which is a medium that has inspired many of the black and white works that I now create. So the space that I'm in right now is going to be the gallery space that I use for my thesis exhibition. Excuse me. It's about 6,000 square feet, has natural light as well as uh, illumination from chandeliers and from lights above. Really high ceilings. The voice quality in here is really good. When we fit with people, it's going to be rather loud. Uh, but it allows for a lot of wall space. Uh, it allows for uh, a lot of people to be in at the same time. Um, so there is a lot I can do with the space. I'm going to walk you through a couple of the pieces right now. Right now, I'm starting to work on more of the charcoal pieces that you see behind me. So I'll get into those real briefly. I mentioned the animals. I'm just currently working with gorillas. I love gorillas, absolutely love gorillas. I could sit and stare at those things forever. And more along the lines of a Ruth Bernhardt type uh, photograph image where I'm really working on the high contrast uh, was what I wanted to do with these, accentuate that, uh, the feature of the face. Um, and so I started with this big guy right here. Uh, really, really enjoyed working with this. I layer in the charcoal, basically pouring the dust all over the place, and then I just rub my hands all over everything, trying to leave certain areas white. So the white is Predominantly, the paper. I'm just using charcoal to kind of cover in and fill in the blacks. I'm using a lot of different charcoals, from powder to stick to pencils. I'm using soft as well as medium and hard. I use kneaded erasers as well as electric erasers to kind of get those mark makings in there. Um, so it really is as much about the mark making as it is the image itself. One of my favorite pieces is this little guy right here. The reason I did this guy here was I kind of wanted to put it on a wall in my house a little bit uh, that is not very large um, and so I really wanted to have something that I could enjoy and I really enjoyed these passages right in here these were a lot of fun to do okay as I progressed with this work um, some of the things that I have found is that I have really emotionally become attached to or detached from the work. It's the first time it's really ever happened for me. Uh, and one of the pieces where I was detached from, and I really, I don't necessarily like it because of the place that it puts me in, is a piece called Walk the Dog. Now Walk the Dog is a 40 by 30 illustration board. Graphite, kind of in the likes of an Ethan Murrow. It's myself as the artist being walked by a faceless figure in the work, you're able to see the torment that's going on, basically, in myself throughout the last couple months. I've gone through a lot of stress uh, as a teacher, 
as a business owner running an event and wedding venue. Uh, being at SCAD has its own difficulties, and it has really stressed me out in quite a few ways. And one of the things that I wanted to do was kind of capture that emotion and that stress in a work of art that shows kind of how we are as adults, whereas we're free to go everywhere, yet we're not really free to go anywhere. And the person holding the leash is faceless simply because it's everybody. It's everything. It is not one person or one thing individually, okay? This piece I really struggled with. And the reason I struggled with it was because of the emotion and the place that it put me in. I didn't really want to go there. And so every time I get to work on it, it's a bit frustrating to me and that it, it reminds me of that stress. And as I mentioned in my artist statement, I really want to stay to the fun, the fantastical, and the whimsical. That really allows me to, to enjoy life a lot better because my natural tendency is to be stressed out. This is another one of the gorillas that I really enjoy, focusing on that really high contrast in here. I'm not so sure I like the way it's, it's going in terms of division of form and the paper, but I'm heading in the right direction, I think, with this. I really do like it. Now, over here, off on the other side of the gallery walls, I've got two individuals. I started breaking away from my paintings um, and got into charcoal again uh, towards the end of this spring quarter. And two of the pieces that I want to talk about real briefly are called Inner Strength. There are two young ladies at the school that I teach at. They both have individual issues that should keep them home on a daily basis from school, yet they show up every day and you would never know what these issues are if they didn't tell you. Yet they have more reason to miss school than any other student, and yet they are there. While other students are wanting to go home from a cold or just not feeling well and upset stomach, these two seem to make it every time. They turn in their assignments all the time. They're straight-A students. They work really, really hard, and I, I value that. I use, I use them as examples in my classes. So when I asked if I could do them and work on their, their, their images, I had to get their parents' permission, and I explained every reason why. And it just, these are really special to me for that. And each of the girls' parents are actually getting these um, after our review. And this gives me an opportunity to go back into the charcoal, get away from the acrylic paint. Um, again, I'm putting the charcoal on the page. I'm using my hands to smudge and work all of the charcoal from the highs to the lows. Then after I get everything in, I'm going back in with the tools to get some of that detail and the refinement of those, okay? I love these two pieces. I want to do more like them. I have a couple other ideas. And these will probably get much larger. My plan is for my thesis to actually go probably about 10 to 15 feet tall by about three feet wide in charcoal on paper. Okay, that's how large I want to take some of these board issues. Over here we have two paintings. Both of these paintings are unique and they're both, each of them are my daughters. This is the kind of work I absolutely love doing with acrylic paint. Okay, now Lila was shown in my 15 hour, but I went ahead and I reviewed her and I redid a lot of the work that was in uh, this painting so that I could use it for this particular review. Um, putting in the drop shadow, refining the eyes, the colors within uh, the skin, trying to get better uh, the piece itself. And I really enjoy this work. It's a lot, it's one of my favorites. And as we, you know, as we progress in this, I'm going to be going back and forth between the acrylic and the charcoal. The second is of my daughter, Lael. And again, it's that fun, whimsical, kind of serious youth, yet the wolf hat on top is showing that she's still a kid in many ways. I love the flat background, trying to use either orbs or some kind of geometric shape to break up the pattern. I think gives me a lot of opportunity. The last two pieces that I want to work, I want to talk about real quick. This is one that was not as successful, but I still enjoy it. This is probably my very first self-portrait. It's called The Teacher. It basically is myself in my winter coat. It's kind of how I look. Uh, it's got my rings on, the aviator glasses that I wear. What I get a kick out of is, is that I have students that for Halloween will actually come dressed up like Mr. Taylor. For some reason, I guess I'm a Halloween character. So kids are always coming in, you know, they're wearing rings or they wear the bracelets. I've got kids that do all this stuff, it's weird. But it got me thinking, what is it about me that they like? It's just me as a person that we really do have a good time. And so this image kind of embodies that instructor that you just really wouldn't think is a school teacher. The last work is 
my youngest daughter, Leah. She's seven years old. I've got her in a dinosaur helmet. It's basically her bicycle helmet. Gave her a pair of dinosaur claws. And at the same time, she's got the striped background, the, you know, the colorful background of the work itself, which is flat for a reason. It's kind of just a backdrop, fun, whimsical colors adding to the entire work as a whole. I appreciate the time and thank you very much. We'll talk later. I can't believe it just did that.